In this first patient, chromoendoscopy highlights villous atrophy and mosaic pattern in the duodenal bulb. In the same patient, push enteroscopy additionally reveals multiple ulcers in a long jejunal segment. Endoscopic diagnosis of ulcerative jejunoileitis complicating celiac sprue was made and biopsies performed to rule out T-cell lymphoma. In this elderly patient presenting with malabsorption, celiac sprue had not been diagnosed before and was confirmed by antibody tests and biopsy. The next capsule endoscopy shows another variant of ulcerative jejunoileitis. This 71-year-old lady presented with malabsorption, diarrhea, and weight loss. Celiac antibodies were inconclusive. Histology demonstrated chronic idiopathic non-granulomatous ulcerative jejunoileitis. Edema, mosaic pattern, and ulcers are visible. Villous atrophy is present as well, but has an irregular distribution with areas showing either normal, enlarged, or absent villi. Whitish and swollen villi are the endoscopic sign of lymphangiectasia. Although often just a variant of normal, it may also accompany inflammatory or neoplastic diseases. In this case, with clinical diagnosis of HIV, enteropathy lymphangiectasia is the only endoscopic alteration. However, biopsy is necessary to rule out opportunistic infections. This case shows a swollen mucosa and lymphangiectasia due to atypical mycobacteriosis caused by Mycobacterium avium intracellulare. The endoscopic similarity with Whipple's disease led to the term pseudo-Whipple. However, here the swelling of the mucosa in parts is more striking than lymphangiectasia with its whitish villi. This young patient had no HIV infection. Cytomegalovirus, CMV, can occasionally affect the small bowel. This patient, under immunosuppressive therapy for rheumatoid arthritis, suffered from malabsorption. Capsule endoscopy demonstrates jejunal ulceration with the typical punched-out appearance. There is hardly any inflammatory reaction surrounding the ulcers. Radiation enteritis may occur even after several years. Fibrosis is a characteristic feature with thickened mucosa, sometimes causing stenosis. Focal lymphangiectasia with single or multiple white villi is seen, as well as erythema, erosions, and focal villus atrophy. Neovascularization with red spots and angiectasias sometimes causes intestinal bleeding. Mucosal breaks as erosions or ulcers in the small bowel due to intake of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAID, are common. Red spots and petechiae are also frequently seen in NSAID enteropathy. Here, the usual finding of patchy erythema and villous atrophy is seen. These lesions were completely reversible after cessation of NSAIDs. <laughs>